Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, so I literally put together the most, the best outfit I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, to be honest, I'm so excited about it. I wanna show it to you. Um, and, okay, so this is the thing. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my hair in a second. Um, it's like, it's just really important. It's like so important. Let me back up and show you guys my outfit. First, let me just talk to you about it. So, can you see the way this is velvet? It's like um, crushed velvet or something. And sorry if I keep looking outside, Ming is sitting outside right there. And um, I'm backed up to like a canyon. So, and I like, the, the fence is too low. So um, I'm nervous that she's gonna get like um, eaten by a coyote. So I have to like watch her. And then she's only allowed to sit like on the patio furniture. But if she wants to smell around, then I have to like go get her. I have to have like new fencing put up, whatever. Long story, shut up, okay. Um, and so this, I got this when I was like really fat. Like. I got this from Maritzia when I was like really fat. Like, all right, you know, this is the thing. Um, if any of you guys out there have lost weight and you like put on like old clothes that you used to have, like it's the best, right? Like I just feel like, oh my God, like, I literally just feel so like emaciated. I feel like so skinny. It's like this thing that I remember I used to wear that was just, it wasn't fitted, but it, it was like loose, but it just wasn't this loose, obviously. And this is just like such a vibe. Um, and then the bottom, the pants are also velvet, but they're like a different crushed velvet. They're like lines, like it almost looks like weird, like, I don't know what this is, lines. Um, these are from, um, and other stories. Is that what the place is called? Like the mall? Um, and I got them on sale and like the sale rack because that's what I, whenever I go to like, I rarely go to the mall, but you guys know I love like sale. Okay. And then I'm wearing my bands. Okay. Best fucking outfit ever of my life okay you know what I feel like I feel like like Rod Stewart and a lot Rod Stewart and like Alana Hamp Alana Stewart like you know those pictures of them in like the 70s and they were like the most fabulous people ever um I love Alana Stewart like I just I follow her on Instagram I just like her on yeah, Instagram I think she's so pretty but um okay like her like in the 70s like oh my god like I'm done I feel like she would have worn or they would have like worn this outfit or something also um the other thing about it is like I have it undone and you know what I mean like really low and like I have like really small boobs so that's like the point like you know what I mean like it doesn't matter like if it moves a little bit you're not gonna say anything anyway like I don't like you know what I mean like it's just a vibe like it's a fucking damn vibe I love it so much um I want to show you guys okay is it like really blown out here I don't know let me just back up okay can we see it all right can we see this can you like see the vibe? I don't know if you can see like how cute it is. Just like this, the um, ends of these are just like slightly, not belled, but like normal pants. And then I, I don't know if you can see the detail of it. It's just like so random. Um, and it looks like it's just, like a cool set that doesn't match it, but it doesn't match. Can you see? I don't know. Um, let me open the door again because I gotta watch that dog. She's literally such a brat. She's like literally sitting. I mean, you are such a fucking snob, seriously. Like, I don't know how you become such a snob. Like, you guys, if you saw her, she literally thinks she like owns a place. Her attitude is just too much for me. Like, I don't get it. Um, okay. Um, before I go on, I just want to talk about what I'm doing right now with the line. We are doing the HRH stimulus package, bitch. Yes, we are, okay? Everyone's getting checks cut. So HRH is giving you guys free money too. Like, why the fuck not? So um, right now with the code HRH STIMMY, fucking STIMMY checks, okay. HRH STIMMY, it's, you're getting $10 free. Just spend $10. So no minimum, no, like on any order, anything. It's just free, $10 for you to spend on anything you want. Um, you know, like I have earrings that are like $47, $50, things like that. I have like even shirts that are on sale, like, you know, that are like, you know, really cheap. So the $10 was for anything. And then it's also free US shipping right now over $100. So it's a double thing. You can get $10 off and you get free shipping depending on how much you spend. So really good time to shop. I have new things up too. I have this one. This is my new Monte Carlo. Look at that. How it's, look how shiny it is. It's like, um, I got a little bit, a slightly smaller version of my HR Privé chain, and this is 18K gold plated over 
stainless, so it's not gonna turn. It's not gonna turn. You probably wear it all the fucking time, like these things that I wear all the time, and they don't turn. Um, okay, or they don't, sorry, fade is the word, but look how fucking sick that is, brand new. And then this is brand new too, oh my god, okay, you guys know how I am with my diet sodas. This is the Gemstone Fizz. I call this one the Pave. Can you see that? Okay, fucking absolutely dead. And this also comes in a necklace version on like this most sick gemstone faceted chain ever. And then it comes off the chain so you can wear it alone too, okay. But I just want to tell you that I'm wearing my Diet Coke, or oh, sorry, my um, Diet Soda on the other one in the blue. Um, this is my, I love this one too. This is my bar, what's it called? Bar Link? No. This one called, I love this one. Okay. Oh my God, I, guess I got a gardener. I'm so excited. Um, I've been like gardening myself. You guys notice, like I've been doing everything myself because like no one, I don't want to talk about it. Um, okay, so I've been like gardening myself. So I was just like driving around my like neighborhood the other day and I saw a gardener and I stopped him. I was like, oh my God. I was like, do you like, do, do you garden here? And he's like, obviously dumb shit. I was like, oh, um, that's how I felt. And, and he's like, I can come Friday. So why, why am I losing my mind? Gold bar, yeah, gold bar necklace. Yeah. It also comes in a lariat version, but it's really sick. And this is my root pave in the necklace. I wear this Rupave in my Studio 54s and Super Gleams all the time. You guys know that. I'm also wearing the Studio, the Rupave bracelet here. Are we really blown out? I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, I wanna get on with the video. The most important part of this video is what I'm gonna do now. And this is the thing, like I don't have, like I don't wanna do it. I honestly don't. No, I do. Like I really do wanna do it. Um, okay, this light is like beaming in right on me and it's making my hair look like it has like, it needs to be cut, but it doesn't. It's just like that really harsh light. See what I mean? Okay. Um. Okay. So let me just start. I've been wanting to do this topic for a very long time because I don't like this yellow. Okay, sorry. Um, that light was kind of like driving me nuts. Okay. So here we go. And this is the thing. Like I, I'm not gonna stop. Um. All right. Let me just show you. If you guys know, you know what I'm gonna show you right now. I will probably be the topic of this um, of this video too. Um, you don't know how to eat wonton soup. Just stop. You don't. And this is the thing. Like, you can shut the fuck up right now. You can shut the motherfuck up right now. Any of you dumb, white, woke-ass pieces of shit, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Get off my channel. I'm a, I always do this because you, you like, infuriate me to the point where I can't even eat I can only, you know, did you know? Did you know? Because I'm like American and white, I can only eat like, what is it? What do we make here? Cheeseburgers? And I can eat, I don't know, what else is like American? Like Doritos? And um, what else, what else, what else is like American or like white? Um, like macaroni and cheese? Like that's the only thing I'm allowed to eat, you know that? Like if I dare, if I dare eat anything? Oh, by the way, okay, I'm Greek. Is it okay? because I'm Greek, is it okay if I eat like spinach pizza or something? Or am I gonna like, because I'm half, am I like culturally appropriate? Shut the, shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. You don't know how to eat wonton soup like I do. Shut the fuck up, okay? Did you know by the way that because like, oh yeah, if I eat like Mexican food, like I'm culturally appropriating fucking Mexicans. Like, oh my God, shut your damn mouth. So fucking sick of these dumbass woke pieces of shit. Get the fuck off my page. I'm not kidding. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. Bye, bitch. Goodbye. Good fucking bye. All right. Um, I am so excited to show you guys this. This is like such a moment for me. Okay. You guys know, actually, if you probably watched one of my very first videos, the lighting is like really yellow, right? I hate it. It's so ugly. Um, if you watched one of my very first, first videos, you would have seen me eating pickup sticks. Like I just love pick up sticks so much. I don't know why I really love it. Um, and I love their wonton soup. To be honest, it's not the skinniest and you would think it is because it's all broth, but um, I just really like it. I don't know if anywhere, I don't know if there's pick up sticks outside of California, I'm not sure. But like we also have this, when all, all Chinese restaurants have wonton soup and it's typically always good, okay? So we also have this one downtown and it's like more fattening because they put like barbecued like pork in it and as you can tell it's just a little bit more like hearty um 
the color this thing is this is the large okay you can also get the small which is like a little cup which i was going to get but i wanted you guys to see like the full effect okay let me show you it also comes with like a ginormous spoon for like serving because they legitimately think it's for two people but <laughs> okay um and then um it comes with these wontons which i do eat I do, I'm not gonna lie. But if you wanna be skinny, don't eat them because it's, that's like so, it's like, it's really fattening. Um, and then I put soy sauce. Okay, so I wanna eat this with you. And the reason I know how to eat it, this is a thing, shut up, because no one, okay, no one eats this from pickup stick. So shut up. Oh, this is my thing. I've been doing it forever. So that's why I don't know how to fucking eat it. I know how to eat it. Um, where's my brush? Really ugly. Okay, um, so I love this so much. It's been like something I do. I just love to get a large Diet Coke with extra ice. They have like the most fucking bomb Diet Coke there too. I don't know what it is about that place. And then um, a large wonton soup. And I don't usually eat it with this like fucking spoon. But I just wanna show you like how good it is. So this is how I order it too. I order it with no carrots because I don't like cooked carrots really. I order it with extra broccoli instead. So I'm just gonna show you guys how good this is. So I get, I'm gonna put it in here. So there's like um, mushrooms and then wontons. And by the way, stop, stop. I don't want anyone out there being like, oh my God, like, that's a shit Chinese food. Well, I don't care, I know it is, it's takeout. Like shut the fuck up. It's like, I know it's not being like fucking like homemade from some like actual like Chinese old lady or something. It'll be like fucking bomb. Like I get it, but I really like it. There's like a really good smoky taste to it. Then there's um, shrimp in it and like water chestnuts and green onion. And I love the broth so much. Um, and then obviously this piece of chicken, which Ming is like obsessed with the chicken. It's like a little bit, I, I hate when there's like bad quality chicken and stuff. And it's not, it's a weird chicken, but I really like it. Um, but she eats all of it, so I can never get any chicken. Um, but Oh my god, it's so good. And you'd expect it to be like, here, I'm gonna eat one piece of chicken with you guys. It's just like so good. Um, I would expect it to be a lot less calories, but it's not. I don't know why. It should, I feel like it should be um, less calories, but it's not. So, this is just like, I do this. Now, I was so excited when I moved here. Because I like pick up six like really close to where I live. Um, um, mm, I just love everything about this. It's so good. Like my Diet Coke. Oh God, it's just so fucking good. That's my favorite. I've been wanting to like have this with you guys for so long. I'm gonna eat one of the wontons now. And then I'm gonna save this for later because I have like a list to show you guys. I'm just like a serving spoon, I get it. I'm a fucking ogre, like I, literally, what the fuck? Mm. So good, like so good. Okay, one more bite, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna pour this back in. I oh, so gross. Because I'm gonna save this for like when I'm done with this. So you guys are gonna want me, like see, watch me the entire thing. It's so weird. But I really want to show you guys my wonton soup. It's like just such a moment for me. I love these noodles. These like spice is crispy noodles. They're so good. I'm gonna put them in there, and they kind of get like a little bit soggy. So bomb. Okay, I'm gonna wait on that. Um, I wanna talk about some other things with you guys. Um, some list stuff. Um, this is a thing. This is a thing. By the way, do you like do you see what I mean? How it's like this Okay, if you have big boobs, I get it, because I had big boobs before you guys know I had them like I had like I had like I had boob I had boobs, like I had implants for like a year. <laughs> I had them like taken out. 
I don't understand people who live with, like, misery. Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you hate your tits or whatever? You get your fucking, like, boobs and they suck. Take them the fuck out. Stop being fucking pussy. Okay. Um, so, I'm like, dude, if I could, like, show you my boobs, I would. Like, that's how good they look. They are so fucking cute. I love them. Like, let me tell you. I hated, I fucking hated my tits, like, um, before. Like, okay. So, before I got the implants in, they were, like, small. But because I had like fluctuated with weight, they just like were not cute. They weren't like, they weren't like those fugly ones that like people keep posting for like, oh my God, everyone's beautiful. Like, shut the fuck up, man. We can't have like, we can't even have like, we can't say something is like typically beautiful. It has to be like, everyone's beautiful. Like, no, not everyone is beautiful. Shut the fuck up. God, I'm so sick of that. Like, no, and you know what? I'm sick of that. I fucking hate it. Have some goddamn standards. Stop. Piss me the fuck off. Okay, um, blanking out. Okay, so, um, when I first, so they weren't like, they weren't like that cute. I just didn't like them. Like, they weren't cute. They, I don't know what it was. I don't know what my, I don't know what my doctor did to me. So, so then I got, like, I got implants in, even though people were like, what the fuck are you doing that? I was like, I just want to try it. Like, I just want to fucking try it. Who cares? Like, I'm going to take it out, but I don't like them. So what? Big deal. Take them out. Bye. So I had them taken out, hated them. They were too big. Like I already have like broad shoulders, which I like, I, I love. I love being like present. I love being like statuesque. I don't want to like, I don't know. I've like, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I just not, I'm not statuesque because I'm only like five, I think I'm like five, seven, but I just am not like a minuscule person, which I like. Um, like I'm not a model. I'm not obvious, <laughs> obviously, but you know, models are like, like big, bigger people. I don't know. Are they? I don't know if they're there. Okay, so um, I got them out and then I had a lift, right, done? Because he's like, do you want your, if you take them out, they'll, they'll probably just look the exact same as what you had before. Um, and then I was like, yeah, because I was trying to save like, because a lift is expensive, you know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, and he's like, do you want to see your before picture before you decide on that? And I was like, um, yeah. So he brings out like my profile or whatever, like, you know, like before and after pictures. And I was like, whoa, like what the fuck? Oh my God, I was like dying. I was fucking fugly, okay? Fugly, like nasty, like, fuck no. So I was like, um, absolutely fucking not. Like remove them, I don't care what. I'd rather have nothing, like get that off. I will not be with those, you know what I mean? Like no, fuck no, oh my God. I mean, the pictures they take in those offices are fucking bad, but no, these are like not cute. Um, so I have like the best tits now. Like. I don't know what he did. Yeah, I have like a little scar because they, they have to do like um, it's like an anchor or something. So they from below the nipple to like under and then under like that. I don't know to like cinch it and then it goes up. I don't know how to do it. Obviously, I'm not a plastic surgeon. Um, obviously, but they are like the cutest. If you guys, okay, let me tell you. If you want me to change your life, get a fucking don't get implants. Just get a lift. Like I'm the cutest person naked. I swear to God. Like I told you guys, I would love to do like like a try on and to be naked with you guys. Like I just would do it because I don't care. Um, I don't know, I'm like very proud of like how I look now because I lost weight and like worked on myself. Not the way everyone's like, I just keep eating, you're beautiful no matter what. I'm so fucking sick of that shit, like fuck yourself. Um, so yeah, I love it. I, um, so that you should do that. Well, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> oh yeah, the shirt. So um, you see what I mean? How it's just like, it's like nothing, you know? Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about, can I have a time noodle? Um, so good. Okay. Someone said something to me this morning that actually infuriated me. Um, and I was like, wow. Okay. I was like, wow, again. Okay. So, um. This is the thing. Um, you guys know, you guys know that I, okay, I, this is, you guys out there, the haters are, are like, they always try to prove me wrong and I always try to say that I'm crazy, right? Right now, like, okay, cut the bullshit. Where have you, okay, I'm not talking about Sophia Loren or someone in the 60s or something like that. Where have you seen this eye? Like, where have you seen this eye? Because I'm telling you right now, you fucking bitch, you shut up right now. If you're going to fucking try to come for me and be like, oh my God, I saw it here or there. You didn't see it anywhere, okay? Don't fucking, don't, don't, don't piss me off right now. 
Um, where have you seen this eye you haven't? I've been doing this eye now for how long? Like how long have I been doing this eye? I never see anywhere. Like I'm on Instagram all the time. I look around, like I see, I see different things. Um, I never see it. I never see this eye anyway. All of a sudden, there's this like beauty site, which I will not give the name because it's so infuriating. Like, oh yeah, I'm like, like everyone goes see that. Um, it says two wings are better than one. Get the look with blah, 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 I, like I, eyeliner. Bitch, like I want, I want credit. Like I'm so sick of like not getting credit. Like I'm so done with it. Like why, why don't you, like why can't, this is the thing. When I do, when I see something and I get inspiration from it, I give credit. I'm like, oh, like from this or saw this from there. But the truth is a lot of the times, I'm not even joking, it comes from like the most random shit ever. Like old movies, like traveling, like vibes from my head from the fucking 90s. Things I wished I had when I was like six. Like weird shit that like, I don't, I am not inspired by anyone. Like I don't like anyone. I try to like be, I try to like not look like anyone. I try to not think like anyone. I try to like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like if you're thinking one way, I probably will probably just like think, why are you thinking like that? Like, no, like probably not like, no. You know what I mean? I will always like think like, no. So anyway, I'm just really annoyed. It happened again. It's just rude. Like, it's just rude because I'm like not a big person. I'm just like, I have like no followers. You cannot, but like, you know what? This girl like did come up with this. Like, yeah, obviously I got it from Sophia Loren or someone in the sixties. Duh, fucking idiot. But like, I came up with this. There's no one, there's no one doing that. There's, there's no one doing that. Like, like it's just so obvious, so annoying. Um, I'm just really tired of it. Like even on Instagram too, like everyone, all these like big like meme sites, are using my clips and like I like I'm like out there as fuck like and people will will not give me the goddamn credit so I like will shamelessly write on the videos now like where the fuck is my credit because I'm serious like where the fuck is my credit like you're literally like getting paid from my personality like fuck you like do something like, like give the credit bitch like tag me do something like you know what I mean we know I'm not going to gain a follower from it. We know Instagram has it out for me. We know you can't find me anywhere. I get it. But at least you can, like, give the fucking credit. It's so rude. Like, I'm just so, I'm so done with it. And um, a couple of times when I do that, people are like, oh, my God, of course, Queen, of course, I'll tag you. Like, okay, good. Like, thank you. But you should have done it in the first place, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that I really want to show you the photo. Should I show you the photo and, like, zoom in? Maybe I will. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I don't want to, yeah, look at that. I wonder where you got this idea from. And you know what? Don't even try and go screenshot things of people doing things like um, right now. Because now I've been doing this. Someone tell me on here. I don't even know. For so long, I've been doing this to this double eye. Okay. So that. Please. That's exactly what I fucking do. I'm done with you. I'm done with everyone out there. And they're fucking cheap tricks. Like, Bob is fuck out of me. It really does. What else? Um. I would really love to tell you about this incident that happened. Um, or someone like completely fucking me over, but like I told you, like we we can't have any normal dialogue here because of the snitches, the fucking like little rats out there, like the losers, like the leftover losers from high school who are like like little fucking little like oh my god, stop. Um, you know what I mean? So I can't even tell you guys, but like I was like, done dirty so bad, and you'll figure out who it is. So I like, can't even tell you. Um. I don't want the drama and I don't want the traction for that person. But this is like the, this is the thing with me. <sighs> I need to stop. Like I really called myself out yesterday when this happened. Like I really called myself out because I let people, I don't know why I do. Maybe, maybe because it's too difficult. I'm just like too busy. I'm too like alone. I'm, you know what I mean? Start, like, like I'm a loner. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm like, I am, I don't have like a lot of friends. It's not by like, because I can't make friends. It's because I am exhausted. Like, I can't. It's so much anxiety for me. Like just to th to think about having to go and like chat with people. Like, what do you talk about? What are you? I'm sorry. Like, what are we? Okay, so talk. Like, I don't know. I don't have anything to talk about. I have nothing to talk about. I don't want to talk. Like, I would. You know, I'm good. I'm good at like, sitting out and just like listening and like observing. I can like spectate. I can observe. I can like just sit. But I don't. I really don't want to add to the, add to the conversation. Plus, I'm. I think it's because I'm deaf. So if I. If I'm out with a group of people, it is so much pressure to try and position myself in an air in in like say we're at like a table. 
to position myself next to, to someone so I can hear them because the person on this side, I'm not gonna be able to hear you. I am gonna be stressed the fuck out the whole time trying to like listen to you because like turn my head like this. I'm literally fucking retarded. Um, uh, here we go. Shut your, shut the fuck up. Shut the, get the, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my goddamn house. Get the fuck out of my goddamn house. Like, why are you here? Why the fuck are you here? Okay. I don't get it. Like, why the fuck are you here? If you're an offended little fucking twat, why the fuck are you here? That's what I'd like to know. You're not gonna step in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say whatever I want. So, shut up. Okay. Um, glad we cleared that up. So, yeah. Like, that's what it's like, like for me to go out with a like, group. It's like, it's like impossible. It's so, and like, just, because it's, it's a lot of work. It gets a lot of like stress. And then people think you're a snob because you're not talking to them or you're not hearing them. But it's really like, I'm just, trying so hard to focus and to listen or to like, or to lip read or to just, you know, and like just the having to act like you heard them and then make up something like an agreement, even though it's probably wrong. Oh my God. It is so hard. Ming! Oh, you're coming inside. Okay, good. Come here, Ming. Um, yeah, so that's that. Like, with the, well, I don't know where I was going with that. such a bitch like literally she's such a bitch I mean, she's such a bitch man i don't get it um so yeah all right so i forget what i was going with that but i i had this other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about because a lot of you guys are like do you follow me on instagram you should follow me on instagram i have two sites i have two names um i have two my main one is hrh collection it's hard to find i know but just find it and follow me okay i'm sure 95 percent of you are been blocked whatever um, the other one that I have now is a backup account. It's like the real HRH collection just because I can know like if I get shut down or whatever Then I have like a backup but um, Anyway, so I had this thing that happened to me with um, Last week and I just I really have like a, a, a strong feeling about About like the dirtiness of it and how like how fucking dirty this bitch did me so I'm going to set it up like this because it, the, 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 the truth has to be told in the way that I'm going to tell you. And the reason I can tell you is because you're not going to know where I'm going. So like, it, you know what I mean? With like the hair, you'll you probably like know, you can like look at something. I'm like, oh, it's her or whatever. Okay. So, um, I go to this nail salon and I've been going since I moved here and I really like them, but I, to be honest, I feel like the, all the women there suck and it's like the men that are really good. And I feel like every time I go in there, um, the men are always taken or I even hear like the women at like the patrons and they're asking for like the men. Um, and are you guys like me? I don't know. When I go to like a nail salon, I'm talking about like, like a generic nail salon, like, um, you know, a generic one, like in like the shopping centers, not like some like bougie nail salon or whatever. Where the fuck is the dog? Oh, she goes, okay. Um, I don't know. I always, I always have the best, best luck with the men. I feel like they just do a better job. Personally, I'm not saying every I'm not saying like everywhere honestly, but I'm saying the men usually do a really good job But here we go slit my fucking throat. Okay, shut the fuck up People are lying to my goddamn opinion you dumb shit. Stop Stop like I can't even have a fucking opinion on here. Like I don't know why you're here Like you I, I'm giving my own fucking opinion stupid ass So um, whenever I go in nails on I always like hope the guy a guy is free because I just feel they do a better job not every time, but I would say most, mostly. I don't know why. Okay, so I've been going here. I really like it, and um, it's the thing is it's weird. Usually, gel manicure is thirty five dollars, right? Well, it's thirty there, and it shouldn't be. I don't know why it should be thirty five, but I'm like sh kind of shocked that like the price is usually thirty five dollars. All right, so I during the, the during the quarantine, like, or because they were like open on the DL. I was giving them like big tips. Like I was giving them like $20 or something extra, like a tip. Um, just because like I feel for people's situations and I, I don't know, I feel like you're supposed to, I when during this time, like you're supposed to like tip, I, I want to tip bigger, you can whatever the fuck you want. I don't think it, do whatever the fuck you want. Um, so I, I, I feel like I, it bothers me because I've been a really good customer. Like I've been a really good customer. You guys know me. You always ask where the dog is, like everyone knows. Um, and like they don't know me personally they just know me from coming in there and having a dog the dog sometimes and this girl like okay she did a really shitty job on me one time like a really shit like a pretty shitty job but it wasn't like a great it wasn't to the point where i was like you know being controlling and i'll only be controlling when i know that it's like 
getting to the point where you're going to finish the job and it's going to be really fucking bad. You know what I mean? So it's like, I have to start being like, okay, can I have the file? You know what I mean? Cause like when you're done with everything and, and you're starting to put the, get the polish out and it's like the shape is wrong. I know you're not going to do anything else. So I'm like, okay, can I just have the file so I can, you know what I mean? So yeah, I started, okay. Um, so I went to her this time and I got stuck with the same girl again. I was like, oh my God. And I know I could have been like, you know, can, I don't know. How do you, suppose, what are you supposed to say? Like, can I have someone else? Like you go there all the time. You make a fucking scene like that. Then you're going to be hated. They're going to like, tr I don't know. I don't want to single someone out. I don't know. I just, I'm not a confrontational person, person actually. I mean, I, 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 it's not true. I will, I will do that if I have, like, if you're just, no, if you're going to like, um, publicly shame me or something, or I might, you know what I mean? Um, depends on the situation. I don't know, but with this is different. So I have to go back there and I have to like, you know, whatever. You know how it is at the nail salon. It's not like, okay. So I get her again. Nice to come. She's like just sucking. Like she's just sucking so bad. And she knows me. She's like, oh, where? She's like, what happened to your long nails? So she knows me. And I was like, oh, they broke because, um, I don't, I think I need to get like three coats or something when they're long. So they, you know, last and whatever. She's like, be nice. Fine. Um, but she's doing like, a really shitty job. The thing is though, what I feel like with a gel manicure, you, you, this is, it's really bad. Like it's so, you are, you really deliberately did me dirty because gel manicure, it's not like you could just get it done again. Okay. It's not like you can just take it off with like, you know, the nail, nail polish remover and like do your nails over again. You have to wait, like you don't have to, but the thing is with me, for some reason, my pinkies are really thin. I don't know what it is. Or there's just like the nerves are sensitive in my pinky nails. So when they start to scrape away afterwards, you know what I mean? After like the foil and they start to scrape away. Like I always tell them like, I'm, I don't tell them unless they're hurting me, but like, I'll be like, I'm sorry. Like my pinkies are really like thin. Sorry. Like you can be a little like ugh, more delicate. Sorry. So, um, you know what I mean? I can't go back like once a week to get gel manicure done. You just, I have to go back. I have to wait two weeks. So this, that, that was like my moral of the story. It's like, I just think that when someone gives you a bad gel manicure, like it really is a bitch move. Like it really is a go fuck yourself move. When I know she just sucks because she didn't do it. Uh, she didn't do a good job last time either, but or like not last time, time before, whenever I had her, but she did the shittiest job. Like the bitch, she must be like the owner's wife or something. She must be because she doesn't give up. Like she should be fired. Like she just does a really shitty job. You wouldn't be able to tell now because if you guys saw me on Instagram, I was like cleaning them up with like my teeth. Like right when I got out of there, I was like biting the fuck out of them, like cleaning up all like the excess. Like she didn't give me a manicure. Like that's the thing is like she didn't clean the cuticles and stuff well enough. So there was like still a little bit overgrown and it was just like dead skin was still like mixed in with like the, it was, it was horrific. Okay. It was like really fucking bad. You know, I, this is the thing. I'm very meticulous person. Like you guys know that I'm not like a slob. I see people with slob nails and like, I literally, I don't even know how you, I'm every, everything about you guys know I'm meticulous. I'm too picky, right? For the world. So, um, like that's, you know, it, I, I'm sure it would have bothered other people too, because when I like showed you guys, you're like, oh my God, like what the fuck? That is actually really bad. So I know I wasn't being like a fucking kook. I mean, maybe to like an old lady who um like doesn't see very well or something like they wouldn't know they can like just they wouldn't even fucking know but don't do that like i don't go in there looking like a fucking slob like you i mean you can like tell that i mean i don't i do it's not true i go in there looking like a fucking hat like a slob i do you guys know i just a slob um but i just feel like i don't know i was really done dirty there i'm like really sick of it i don't know if i'm gonna go back like I ha i'm gonna go back because i don't know where else to go um but I don't know. I was happy until she, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go back, but I guess I can just be like, oh, can I wait for someone else? Like, I can't do that. Like, why? You know what I mean? Um, so poppy. Love it. Okay. Right, um, okay. So now that I've moved here, to Orange County, I need to get like a, I need to find a new hairdresser. So yesterday on Insta, I asked you guys for recommendations. Okay, I'm not being a bitch, but Orange County, I'm okay, this thing, I was born here, so I'm allowed to say what the fuck I want. Fucker. Shut up. 
Um, Orange County is like, I just, the style here is just like so cringy, right? Like it really is. It's like, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it really is. Like I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Some people, some of the people here are like, it's like OC Housewives. They are like the cringiest. Like, oh my God, I would love to go on like one episode with them and like just rip them the fuck apart. They have the worst style, the worst hair. They're just so dated, right? So that's how it is here. Like, it's just too fancy. It's too like new money. It's too flashy. It's like, just sit the fuck down. You're like, you're just too much. Like take one thing off. You're so fucking tacky. Mm. But, okay. So, the hair thing, you guys were sending me some links to stuff, and yeah, there was like some contenders, but the thing is like every single one you guys sent me, everyone does like those just streaky hair. Like, why are you guys sending me that? Like, you guys know the vibe. Like, why are you sending me that? Like, why are you sending me like beachy waves? Like, like come on. I mean, stop. Do, like, uh, we're not doing beachy waves. Stop. So no one sent me anything that I loved. I want someone to do like a melt. Like what is, you know what I mean? Where it's like, you know the biker hair? Like this, that guy, that guy that I took a picture of in fucking Temecula wine tasting was the fucking vibe. Like that is the way people's hair should look. It's natural. I'm gonna talk to you about my hair now. Okay. I know you guys are obsessed with my hair originally, right? Or like last week and how it was all blow dried. But the truth is like, no, this is the thing. This is, I got out of the shower yesterday and I combed it out all, like, all night. And this is what I got. This is totally natural. This is like, you can, like, this is, if you have hair that can do this, you should just do it. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as blow dry, but blow dry is gonna fuck it up. It's not natural. Like, this is natural. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel so much, like, I feel so much more on rather than someone who just got their fucking hair done with like Ray Lick, oh my God. And like, stop. That, okay, the hairstyles that these people like put on their Insta stories here or Instagram, with like the, the, it's like this, and then it goes out, and it's like, oh my God. People, I can't, why, I don't even know why. I don't belong anywhere, I don't belong here. It's like, it's so tacky. I, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna like style my hair. I swear to God, I'm gonna take a photo, I'm sure you guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, you guys, look at this hairstyle, like, it's so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's horrible that, I know everyone does it, I'm like, I'm the only one, everyone out there is like so offended right now, right? It's not good, like, it's not good, okay? Like, you need to get a vibe, the vibe is not beachy waves, okay? The vibe is not like that typical fucking hairdresser, where they like, take this, and I... every time, you know, like, it's the same thing. Like, get a fucking, please get like, a vibe. Please get something that not everyone and their fucking mother has everywhere. It's so cringy. Like, look outside of fucking Orange County. Get some inspiration for the motherfuck's sake for maybe like another like country or like town. So annoying. Okay. Um, so can you guys send me anyone? Like, is there anyone else? Is there anyone that does something good? I feel like everyone's so tacky. I'm not kidding. Everyone's so tacky. Like, I just want this. The thing is that I just want this with a little tiny bit of like, not highlights. I don't even want, because I want it to grow out really easily, but like a little bit more sun kissed because the truth is I have not touched my hair ever. Like what, I don't know, I would say almost two years. This is nothing. I have not done anything into it. This is just this. Okay, I just bit. You see that? I think I want like a little bit more of that in there. I don't even know. The truth is what I want. I think I just want another, like a toner or um, a gloss or something. Just put it all over my hair and then it will like fade out or something. I don't know. Like a lighter gloss and it'll, I'm not sure. I don't know what the term is. That's another thing. It's like, I have what I want in my head. It never makes sense to anyone. Oh my God, I have to show you guys this too. Um, it's really important because it's like the best thing you can do run to the supermarket right now. And get these. Okay. I was in the um, the chip section, and the thing is, I don't really allow myself to buy like snacks and that like chips in the house. 
because I'll eat them. So if I'm like really, but I need to have something. So I usually get like pop chips or I'll get some other, something that's like a better option. You know what I mean? So I don't completely like fuck it up. Um, okay. So I was looking at the pop chip section and they had the regular pop chips and it's like a hundred and, and it's a little bit more calories. This is 25 chips, 120 calories. They're the new pop chips grain free, the sea salt. Okay. Stop. All right. Um, I have never eaten something so delicious in my entire life. Like I, they are so good. The, the texture and they're like, it's weird. It's like they're slightly sweet not, and I don't like that. I don't usually like anything like savory is not the word, but they are like almost like, like they're a little bit savory. They're really, they're salty, but there's like a hint of like a sweet tone to them. They are amazing. Do you guys know those, um, like in, like in Chinese restaurants, they have a, or a Vietnamese restaurant, I'm not sure the, sh the shrimp chips, those ones that come like little plastic pieces and then you fry them and they burst up. That's like the, that's how they kind of fall apart in your mouth. I love shrimp chips, like not the ones from the store because they're sweet. I like the ones that you make at home by yourself. My dad used to make them when I was a kid. They're fucking amazing. I love them so much. So this is kind of like um, a version of that for me. I really, really, really love it. Now I'm telling you guys this too. So. I've been having like, Ming's been, okay, so this house is like three, more than three times the size of my other house. Um, my other house is like, you know, <laughs> one new story, who knows? I know, so fucking offended by that. Fucking nosy. Um, okay, so. Ming has like been really, it's been hard to acclimate her to the, to the house because it's like a big house. There's like stairs, there is, um, it's big. Like I can't just open the back door like I used to at the old house and just let her out because of like told you guys like the fence situation here. It's just needs, I need to get like better fencing installed. Um, even though I'm the kind of person, like I'm so crazy overprotective. Like I, I need to stop. Like if I ever have a child, I'm gonna ruin the kid. Like I need to stop. So I think, I think Ming was like my test kid. I don't know, who knows what ever happened. But um, so I've been trying to get her acclimated, but then because of the construction and like the workers going in and out, it's been like, I, I couldn't leave her here either. You know what I mean? And then the construction itself, like in the middle of demolition, it's just not safe, right? So, um, I've been like commuting, taking her with me, um, like on some days to downtown, but she just, I feel like is so uh, not stimulated. And I know this sounds so crazy, but like, it's the thing you guys know, Ming is not like, a, Ming is not a dog. Unfortunately, I know it sounds so stupid. You guys are like, Ming's a fucking dog, Alex. She's okay. She's just too smart. She's too smart. I promise you. Like, I don't, I wouldn't typically like believe what people say, but this dog is like, just, it's crazy. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have dogs or you feel the same way. Like they don't behave like dogs. Like she doesn't behave like a dog. And I don't, it's probably my fault how I raised her, but it is what it is at this point. So she's just been so like bored and you know, you know, in my other house, I had like a housekeeper and she'd come twice a week and mostly well, mainly I did like to have come home to like a perfect house all the time and she just, you know, like cleaned up and like made whatever. And then I also liked that I could leave the dog because she, the, she would watch Ming. So basically two days like was secure with like watching someone, Ming watching, someone watching Ming. But like now I have no one. I don't have a housekeeper because the construction in the house is just whatever, forget it. Um, I'm just trying to like do it myself. But, um, so I had to... I have like um, a, and I'm not sure if you're watching this, but I have a like a third, a, like a, I have a boy who helps out every once in a while at the office and I'm like, okay, honestly, I need you to come to the house and watch the dog for me. So Ming has a babysitter now and it's like so crazy. Maybe I'll have him like take pictures and I'll share them with you guys. 
but these are like going to be the duties just because I feel so guilty. Like I could, yeah. And then I can't go to like meetings and meet suppliers and stuff like that with like the dog. She doesn't want to, she just like looks at me like she's going to commit suicide. Like I'm going to literally find her hanging. Like she will kill herself. Um, so, um, I'm going to tell him like, I'm not even joking. Sit outside with her in the backyard, like on the patio, like lay out her blanket so she can get sun in the morning. <laughs> She's watching his own filming up there. Um, and then like, you can like take her to the pool. <laughs> um, and then I'm also, you can like, whatever, you can take her to like Fashion Island. Um, just like walk around there. She doesn't like to walk though. So she's gonna, you're gonna have to like carry her, like hold her and like let her walk on the grass a little bit at Fashion Island. She loves that. Um, and, like let her sit in the sun, maybe like let her meet a dog. And then, um, like this is not all one day. Like you can like choose an activity, you know what I mean? Cause there's also, let me tell you the other one is she loves to go to PetSmart, but like, you know, just to walk around. Like I don't, if I don't need anything fine, but just it's fine. She just like likes to go and like, I say she likes to shop. She likes to like go shopping. I swear to God, it's a weird thing. She's obsessed with PetSmart. Obviously it's cause the dog smells, I know. But like take her to PetSmart, just like, like let her walk around. I don't know. like. Buy her a fucking bone. Who fuck? I don't fucking know. Okay. Um. Yeah, but basically, just like sit with her, like watch TV with her, like let her go outside, give her a treat, like you know what I mean, that kind of stuff. Like, do things with her. So, like this is what this is where I'm at. Like <laughs> this is where I'm at in my life. I swear to God, it's the most bizarre shit I've ever. I'm like, wow. I really like a fucking personal dog sitter for this fucking dog. Um. But what was I gonna say about her? Okay. I want to show you guys another thing um, for my cabinet. I'm going to get it for you. And yeah, the kitchen's not done yet. Well, it's done. Not really. There's like, I don't want to, I don't even want to get into it with you guys about the construction. Like, um, it's so bad. You won't even understand. Like, it's that bad. Like, I, it's, I'm completely floored by it. I'm literally like just at his mercy and it was so bad. So just, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just a whole other stress. Like, I don't even know how I am functioning right now. Maybe at like a, a later date, I can like tell you what's it, what's the date today? It's, it's the seventeenth of March, twenty twenty one. Maybe when things blow over, I can like tell you about what I've had to deal with. That's why when people complain about shit, I have like zero sympathy for you because I, I if if I don't know, like I'm I know I'm strong, but like what the fuck is your problem? Like grow the fuck up, make me sick. Okay, um, let me show you guys something I found. I'm so excited by it. About it. Um, Everyone's arguing it now, but um, I, I just feel like it needs to be told to people who don't know. And I'm also going to show you guys my um, breakfast stuff because you're super into the breakfast stuff. Um, I'm going to show you one of the things. Okay. So, if you guys saw the dog right now, she's literally face planted. She's literally face planted in the fucking couch, like acting like she's she's been like beat. Um, I found these, and um, I'm a huge Reese's fan. Like, I love Reese's so much, but I never buy them because, obviously, the calories. But they have these new Reese's Thins, and um, they're just a little bit thinner than normal. And in three of them, they are 170 calories, okay? So let's do the math. Can you see me? 56 calories in one. I think that's actually really fair. Like, that's good. If you have like one of those at night, you know what I mean? It's good. So I like these. And then in the morning, you guys know breakfast is like, my breakfast selection is like a big deal for me. I'm like, I spend a lot of time like trying to just like find what is right or what's good for my breakfast. Cause remember, whatever, you guys, don't, I'm not gonna get into it. I wanna show you guys these um, new cereal bars that I really like and they come in one more, which is the um, golden grams, but that was like 140 calories in one bar. It's a little much. This one's 100, this one's 110. I can't believe it's only 110. It's so ridiculous. And then the Cheerios is 100 calories, okay? So there's, um, anyway, the Reese's Puffs, forget about it. Like 110 calories in this, it is so decadent. It's really, really fucking good. The Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios is really good, and the Lucky Charms is really fucking good too. So I love all of those. And then I'm gonna show you guys this too. So you know that I've had like a big falling out, personal falling out, like 
like they they fucking like ruined my whole life when they're cinnamon the fiber one oh my god that looks stupid when the cinnamon um their cinnamon one they changed the recipe for all of these and they just taste like total shit now i feel like am i like getting in a weird color i think i am um they just taste like total shit now if you guys used to eat these fiber one bars like years ago and then you eat them now you'll know what i mean they used to be 90 calories and then they they did something to make them 70 calories which i love but it completely fucked with the recipe so badly that there's like, when you taste it, it's like a cool taste on your tongue and it kind of like dissolves. It like doesn't, it, it, it like doesn't allow you to chew or something. It just kind of like, it's not, it's not true, you do chew it, but there's, I don't know what the fuck they did. They, they, they substituted something, they replaced something in the recipe and it just fucked up the whole thing. So I have not bought the cinnamon ones since they discontinued the 90 calorie option. But I did try this because it's the um, birthday cake and it sounded really good and it's actually not bad. It, it, it does still have that gross like cool, it's like a cool taste. It becomes like like a little bit icy or something in your mouth, but the flavor is really good on this. So I don't know, it's only 70 calories too. So that's another thing is I, don't, I it's like not enough. I feel like in the morning I wanna have like something a little more substantial. So maybe I'll have like I don't know that and like a bite of something else or something because I, I feel like it's not enough food but that's what i'm doing for breakfast now and i know you guys wanted to know that because you're all I don't know what it is like today i need to stop i think i've, I've just been a little bit like look at this I, I ate way too much but here it is i'm gonna eat it with you because i just really want one i'm gonna stop um so i guess that's it don't forget to use your ten dollars you guys on whatever you want on the site free money I'll put the code below. Um, that's it. I really need to get like new clothes. I have no new clothes. No, I'm not shopping in my old, old clothes. My old, I'm shopping in my closet for clothes because I don't have any clothes. I just don't feel like clothes. I feel like I don't care about clothes lately. I don't know. Do you? And clothes, I don't know. I don't really look at the styles anymore. I love this outfit. Okay, also before I go, um, I asked you on Twitter, I said, what, where should I film today? And a lot of you guys said upstairs. So I was wondering why you didn't like this. I feel it's like it's more comfortable here because the lighting is, I don't know. So tell me where you want me to film next. I, I, I can film, there's like a lot of places to film in this house. But it's like finding the lighting and stuff is a little bit difficult. But tell me what you guys like, just so I know um, what you like best, okay? All right, bye guys.